Hello and welcome back again. Today we are going to create this beautiful animation in PowerPoint. Let's get started. Let's first enable the guides and then format our background. Right click and choose format background. Select fill type as solid and change the fill color to light gray color. Zoom out a bit and go to insert tab. Select line shape and draw two lines diagonally passing through center of slide. We will make use of these lines to align our motion path animation endpoints. Now go to insert tab and select oval shape. Draw perfect circle holding down control and shift keys. Make it no outline and change its dimensions to 6 by 6 inches. Right click on the shape and choose format shape. Increase its transparency value so that we can see through the shape. Move the circle to top right corner and align the circle along the reference line. To make sure it's properly aligned, rotate the circle and align the circle points. Add new vertical guide and set it at 3 units from center. Align the circle edge to this vertical guide. Now create a horizontal guide and set it as 0.38 units. You may think how I arrive at this value, but if circle is aligned properly along the reference line and is touching the vertical guide, you will find horizontal guide value as 0.38 units. Create another horizontal and vertical guides and set them at same distance on either side. We will make use of these guides to place rest of our design elements. Now create two duplicates of circle shapes using Ctrl plus D, reduce their sizes, and place them co-centric. Go to Insert tab, and draw top corner rounded rectangle. Increase its roundness and make it no outline. Increase the transparency of this shape as well, so that we can see through. Rotate the shape and align it along the reference line. Also align the corner points of rectangle shape along the second circle edge. That's the perfect alignment and remember this position. Now move this rectangle shape outside of slide area and align it along the reference line. We will animate our first design element completely. So go to Animation tab and enable Animation Pane. 
Holding down Ctrl key, select all three circles, and apply zoom animation. Increase delay duration of second and third circles by 0.25 seconds and 0.5 seconds. This will give ripple effect to all three circles. Now select the rectangle shape and apply line motion path animation. Start it with previous, decrease duration to 1 second, and set delay to 0.75 seconds. Now dragging the end animation point, align the shape to pre-decided position. Place the text fields over these shapes, and align them in the direction of reference line. Select both text fields, and apply zoom animation. Start them with previous, and increase delay duration to 1.25 seconds. Holding down Ctrl key, select all design shapes. Without releasing the Ctrl key, drag these shapes to create duplicates. Make sure to align each duplicate shape along the vertical and horizontal guides. Remember, duplicated shapes will also have animations. Now all we need to do is, rotate the rectangle shape and text fields along the reference lines, and adjust the line motion path end positions. Rename title text fields in sequential steps. Let's preview the animation once, and make necessary observations. 
Few changes are required, like first we need to add bounce effect to motion path animations. And also fourth step animation starts after second step, so it must be rearranged to third step animation. Now select all rectangle shapes and add bounce effect of 0.6 seconds. Change the color of each design elements using color palettes. Now bring second circle, third circle and the title text field on top of rectangle shapes. Change the font colors and increase the size if required. Finally add heading text field at the middle of slide and delete the reference lines. I personally feel it's better to add shadow effects. Go to shadow options and add the outer shadows in the direction of motion paths. Increase the size and blur values as required. I forgot to rearrange the animation to start third step after second step. Go to animation pane, select all animation elements of fourth step and drag it to the end. So here is the final preview. Hope you all liked it. Please don't forget to like, share and comment.